this is the Austin Nerd Show, and we're here doing another unboxing. This time it's the um, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. And as you can see, it's got Darth Vader on there, which doesn't hit to the theme very well, but I believe it is Death Star. Um, hopefully we don't get another Darth Vader, unless he's in a really cool pose or something. But we'll just have to see what's in here. Um, so it is Death Star by the um, patch here. So of course it has Darth Vader on it, and it does say Death Star. So I was right about that one. And then our pin, um, it has a Stormtrooper. It's hard to see there. But it has a Stormtrooper helmet on it. So, of course, those are always the lame ones. Not really. Um, but, so first off, we have an advertisement for the next box, which is um, Rogue One, which will be really cool. Um, getting you ready for the um, movie. But on to the actual items. Uh, first up, we have, a, of course, a Pop T. And it is Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan Kenobi and their classic Death Star fight scene there. And that's really cool. I really like that. Hopefully this shirt fits. With their pop tees, they're kind of weird because they fit everywhere else, but uh, like at the top here, they're like super tight in the chest and stuff. I don't know if it's just me or what, but um, this shirt actually looks decent and relatively all around good size. So hopefully this will be a good shirt as well, but that's really cool. I love the... Um, Darth Vader versus Obi Wan thing. Um, next up, we have something new, which is I would say is not great, but it's a Death Star um, luggage tag. I don't know why boxes like to give us luggage tags lately, but this is made by Funko, and they've never had these before, at least I know. Of, but yeah, it's got the whole stuff for your name and everything back there. But it doesn't seem like they glued it together right either, because it's really offset. Um, but I like the whole Death Star thing over there. That's nice. But everything else is kind of cheap about that. Um, luggage tags are about as useful as air fresheners. Yeah. Well, air fresheners you can actually use. But like, we don't travel. So <laughs> there's no need for those. Um, so first up, it looks like um, we did get another Darth Vader. And it's um, him in like a choking pose type thing. But it is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and open this. And the box is in decent shape. So... Don't have to worry about a damaged box like we've gotten in the past, which never makes sense how we get damaged boxes because the outside of the box and everything is perfectly fine, but yet we get um, damaged pop boxes, so that means they wear damage going in stuff, but his head kind of crooked. Um, but there's our feathery Darth Vader. Um, he's got kind of a shine to him, kind of like the old exclusive and stuff, um, but as you can see, maybe, he's standing there with his hand out and stuff doing like the um, force choke or whatever. And of course, has his lightsaber and stuff, so that's really cool. Um, I'd say this would om could almost be like a display item since we already have a couple other Darth Vader's. Um, it'd be nice to have a different one. Um, but then the next one is a Grand Moff Tarkin, which is really cool since they've never um, made one of these. Um, I think it'd be interesting if they do have him in the Rogue One movie since he'd still be around at this time. And of course he was kind of like a high leader of the um, Empire and stuff. And I've heard they're supposed to be doing like a, um, I don't know what you call it, like where they take like the old actor but remake him in with graphics and stuff and then put him in the movie. I've heard they're supposed to do that but not exactly sure. Um, but there's just Grand Moff Tarkin, which I mean he's nothing spectacular, just an old guy in an um, Imperial suit and stuff. So... That's all there is, but like I said, they've never made one, which is kind of surprising um, for all the old pops they've done and stuff, but that's um, really cool. That is definitely a good one to add to the collection, if I can get it back. Anyways, um, so that's going to be it for the um, Smuggler's Bounty this month. Um, be sh sure to um, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Subscribe to see more, and we'll see you next time. Bye.